A piece of music can have two, three, or four beats in a bar. Here are two pieces with two beats in a bar. Next, three beats in a bar. And now, four beats in a bar. At the start of a piece, we write a time signature which tells us how many beats in a bar. Two, three, or four. Most often, each beat is a crotchet. The clearest way to show this is to put a crotchet in the time signature here. So this means three crotchet beats in a bar. And this means two crotchet beats in a bar. Of course, pieces of music have more than just crotchets. When a piece has quick notes, most often they are pairs of quavers. But some music has quavers in groups of three, like this. So there are two beats in a bar, and each beat is a dotted crotchet. The clearest time signature 
is two on top and a dotted crotchet below. So this means three dotted crotchet beats in a bar. And this means four dotted crotchet beats in a bar. Here are all those time signatures. Two crotchet beats in a bar, three crotchet beats, and four. Two dotted crotchet beats in a bar, three dotted crotchets, and four. When the quick notes are pairs of quavers, we say the music is in simple time. When the quavers are in threes, we call it compound time. Where we have a note in our time signatures, traditionally there is a number. Four takes the place of a crotchet. So we have two four, three four, and four four. When we come to the compound time signatures, we have a problem because there is no traditional number for a dotted crotchet. So you just have to learn that we write 6-8 for two dotted crotchet beats in a bar, 9-8 for three dotted crotchet beats in a bar, and 12-8 for four dotted crotchet beats in a bar.